Okay, here's a bushcraft tip for you guys. If you're an asthmatic, don't put your bushcraft camp in the middle of a mountain. Not a good idea. <laughs> but I guess I get some long exercise then, so I have to see the positive in things. This uh, short little uh, video in the bushcraft series. Uh, today I'm gonna try making a bushcraft chair or a camping chair. And as so many other things I'm doing in my videos, I have never done this before. It's a learning experience for me. Learning bushcraft, learning new, just learning new things, having fun in the woods. So. Tag along and we'll see what we can do. Cheers. <coughs> so what I brought with me for this little project today is uh, some old paracord I had lying around. Some new paracord. A roll of string. My cheap uh, folding saw well, has been working great for me at least. Work very sharp and nice. My favorite knife, an 8-inch Stremang sawmill knife. Uh, it's a pretty heavy knife, and you can use this to split small wood as a can opener. It's just about everything. Unfortunately, I spilled battery acid on my sheath. So it uh, fell apart in the seam here and burned a hole in it. Kind of a bummer. And I don't know anybody who does leather work, so yeah, duct tape. And I have my a pair of gloves and my uh, the knife I use on my belt. A more uh, robust, just also a cheap, cheap tool. Works great. And most importantly. A bushcraft banana. So, <clears throat> uh, I've been to this spot one time before and I found some uh, nice poles then. So I, I just left her when I used to hang up my tarp on. Didn't film that unfortunately, for the, since it was before I had a camera. <clears throat> but I'm going to use these poles today for the, for the bushcraft chair. So, just have to cut them. Uh, three of them to make sort of a tripod to make the base for the chair. I'm starting by cutting these poles to about the same height as me. Don't know if that's a good measurement, but this is a try and fail thing, so we'll go for that. Try it out. Very impressed by this saw, it works really great. I'm gonna try to tie this up. Uh, I'm really bad at knots. Don't even, don't really know how to tie knots. So that's something I'm gonna have to learn. Some, at some, some point in this process of learning, learning all this stuff. So maybe in another video and if you guys know any good uh, uh, tutorials on tying knots please link me the video be grateful for that try to get it nice and tight
Mm. Yeah, that feels kind of sturdy. But this will keep keep the weight. Just cutting a little <coughs> little notch for the paracord to hook up in. And again, I have no clue what I'm doing out here, so feel free to laugh at me, it's okay. <laughs> I laugh at myself often, so it's no problem. And if you have uh, tips or anything, you know, feel free to post it in the comments. It's always nice to, to learn new things, get new perspectives. And I guess that's what this uh, bushcraft series is going to be a lot about. Me trying out bushcraft stuff and probably failing a lot. But failing is learning and I really want to learn this stuff. <coughs> the same as I... This is the first month ever I have a video camera. So uh, I'm learning all that stuff too. And same with editing, never done that before. But it's a, a fun process, process to learn. And I think it's really interesting, interesting stuff. So feel free to comment and uh, <coughs> give me some feedback. They're always nice. Things I could do better, things I'm doing good. It's always nice to know. Feels pretty sturdy now, and I'm going to try with my amazing knot tying skills to <laughs> to get this on here. I find paracord kind of hard to do knots with for some reason. I'm, it might just be me being an amateur though. That did not work. That did not work. Try something else. Yeah, it's on there. Don't know how long it holds, but <laughs> so I just uh, did the same back here. Made a notch for the paracord to line so it doesn't slip. Tied it up here, and uh, now we're gonna make the seat. So now I'm going to cut the uh, logs to length and just place on top here. You could probably just wrap it with paracord to make a more comfortable seat. I might do that later, but for now I'm going to use, uh, use uh, not logs, but sticks. Same, about the same thickness as these ones. <coughs> and you can probably also use paracord just wrap some paracord around here to make uh, something more comfortable comfortable for your back and the reason my first project out here is a, a chair this is because I'm thinking about making this spot sort of my main camp where I go to do do bushcraft videos and practice bushcraft skills and I like to be comfortable <laughs> when I'm out here it's really good to sit down and relax somewhere and uh, yeah, that's kind of my goal too with uh, this outdoor thing, to be able to be comfortable being outside. So I've really never been like an outside person as much, but I'm starting to get really into this and I'm really loving it out here in the woods. It's so, it's so peaceful here and just, just birds and trees and it's, it's really beautiful. And I'm having a real good time just being out there all alone. And yeah, and it's kind of weird because I always keep talking to the camera or to you guys, so it really doesn't feel like I'm alone out here. It uh, feels good.
So this is where the roll in twine, uh, roll of uh, string comes in. I'm gonna tie this on there so they just don't slip around and stuff when I sit under. That's on there. It's not exactly a beautiful bushcraft chair, but it works. Some energy for hiking back home. A banana is always good to have in your backpack. Fast energy. And it's biodegradable. Hey! Yeah. So that's it for this time, guys. Hope you enjoyed the little video watching me attempting a. <laughs> A bushcraft or camping chair and if you want to see more videos like this of me attempting and me learning and um, yeah just hit that subscribe button I'll keep making videos for you guys to, uh, throughout the summer uh, at least for me it's gonna be a fun summer uh, summer project so summer it's not really summer here in Norway yet it was like my car was <laughs> frozen this morning, I had to like scrape off the windows. And uh, yeah, yesterday it was snowing, so I can't really call it summer yet, but but hey, we're in Norway. Could be a lot worse, could be snow yet. So but it's looking like spring is like getting a hold now. Flowers are starting to bloom and the trees are starting to sprout leaves. So the, a beautiful season is about to start. I'm going to try to spend as much as possible of it outside. Stay tuned. More learning and attempting to learn and more failing is coming up. <laughs> <coughs> so last, I want to give a big thumbs up to all my subscribers. I'm closing in on a hundred subscribers now. Never thought that was... Uh, <laughs> possible a month ago when I started doing these videos so big thanks to you guys and girls and uh, I kind of had the impression that the internet was like just filled with trolls and negative people but it seems like the bushcraft uh, community is uh, they're a really good gang a lot of good guys and girls there so appreciate that and until next time keep bushcrafting and Good vibes, good vibes. <laughs>